Hello everyone and welcome to Atomic Superlander, a game developed by Bitweird and published by Crescent Moon Games. Today I'm going to be walking you through the first level and just giving you my first impressions of the game. I'm going to be bringing you through the first level particularly because of my own inability to complete it without blowing myself up. In Atomic Superlander, you play as... I... I would say that you play as an astronaut, but that's actually, uh, giving you a little bit more credit than what it actually is. The president himself refers to you as a space monkey. He says that your job is meant to be performed by monkeys, and he is not afraid to tell you, to tell you your real value to them. And frankly, it seems like we're pretty freaking replaceable, because if I, I, I wish I could tell you, wish I could tell you how many times, uh, how many times I died on this thing if it wasn't so embarrassing. So your goal is to arm nukes on asteroids that are quickly approaching your planet. Gab? Gabe? Gabe. Nice. Excellent. Oh, that hurt. So here we go. That actually went a little bit cleaner than I expected it to. Now let's just take off. Let's get out. Now let's just get out and arm this thing. And there you go, that's the first asteroid completed! Oh my goodness! I have... Uh, so I've completed this one a number of times. I, I completed it three times, but it only shows one because I quit out of the game before it would actually register as a success. Because I kept trying to get out of there with my ship, but my ship kept exploding. And now here we go, let's go ahead and move on to the next asteroid. So this is what you're going to be doing in Atomic Superlander, but there are a number of obstacles that can potentially get in the way while you're trying to do your job. Oh no, see this is where I get in trouble here. It's when I start getting propelled by the gravity of the asteroid. So I'm just going to... Oh my god! Beggars can't be choosers, Lander. Get over it. Oh, and here we go. Now we're seeing some of the enemies of the game. There is... Oh hey, I got more time! Or rather, I got the time stop power up. Thank goodness! That's some health. Let's beat this thing up. What are you? This seems right. I'll just come to your to your asteroid here and just beat you up. I can tell that's where I was supposed to have landed. Ow. Okay, let's just... I'm just gonna go in one of these things. Word from the wise here, you can actually press the lights as they light up. You don't have to make it really hard on yourself. Like, I imagine most people did in the very beginning because, uh, actually they released an update where they told you that you can do that. Oh, I'm gonna take some damage here. Come on, stand up. Stand up, don't get eaten by crabs. Oh my! Well, let's go ahead and give this one another shot. See, this is what I was talking about. I couldn't complete the first asteroid without blowing my ship up. The only difference here is that it was my fault on the first asteroid that my ship blew up. This time I had nothing to do with that. Well, I mean, arguably I placed it in kind of a difficult spot, but it was mostly that crab that got it. And here's the plot machine, which is one of my favorite additions into the game. I think this is hilarious. I was playing this game in front of a bunch of really quiet people, and I audibly laughed when I saw the plot machine. All right, let's go ahead and just move on to the next asteroid then. Asteroid number three. So it looks like I can enter into either one of those big canals and make it into the center where the bomb is. Two minutes and 44 seconds, huh? How big is this one? Oh no! See, this is the first this is the first time I've ever encountered an obstacle on my way down. I just stop. Come on. Ah, and there we go. See, that's that's what kept happening to me. I kept approaching the ground just a little bit too fast. Or a lot of it, you know, it varies day to day. That was easy, but I can't help. But in a way, that could have gone a lot more smoothly, especially if I could have gotten out of there alive. This is why I was saying, in Atomic Superlander, you play as a very replaceable person. Like, this is if you want to call them a person. They're dehumanized to the point of being called monkeys. Okay, so what comes before that cog? It's the two times one, right? How about here? It's the helmet. Ah, dang it. Wrong helmet. Hey, and I got a new card! Really quick here, I wanted to show you guys why I got so excited when I said that I got a new card. You can come in here and you can actually mess with this guy's tower. You can turn on zero gravity and just throw away all his hard work and he gets so sad. Look at that, I feel awful. Whoa, he's a magician. That's awesome. I've never seen him reconstruct it before. I don't feel, 
I don't feel quite as bad now that I know that it doesn't take him too much time to construct that. Asteroid number four. There are two bombs! Okay, see, okay, so the game, the game ramps up in difficulty pretty quick because this is a new kind of, I don't want to call it a puzzle. Puzzle platformer, we could call it. Action puzzle platformer. The sheer amount of genres that this thing mixes. It's great. It's a, I'm having a fantastic time with this game. Come on, be safe. Be safe. Good job. Looks like I won't have to replace you with like an Acura TSX or something like that now. Let's go ahead and arm the first bomb here. Hey, it's one of the guys from the main menu. What's up, homie? Oh, this guy's really mad. Oh, this right here, this is my favorite power-up, the one that makes you like Goku. You get an aura, and you get punches that turn into Kamehameha's. If any of the developers are watching this right now, do you guys watch Dragon Ball Z? Is that where the inspiration for that came from? I'd really like to know, actually. Because it definitely makes me feel powerful, it makes me feel like Goku. Also, while I got you guys here, you've made a fantastic game, I'm really enjoying my time with it. I think it was featured on, like, the editor's picks, it's got a number of glowing reviews. All right, let's get on board. Oh gosh, dang, son of a And it was going so well. See, I kind of downplayed it in the beginning, but I gotta say, one of my favorite parts of this game is trying to get, it, one of my favorite challenges is trying to get down to the surface of the asteroid in one piece. I think that's a, that's a huge challenge in and of itself. What? That's a 32 pound kettlebell right there. I can do some kettlebell swings, I can get ripped. It's part of my get ripped quick scheme on asteroids. You know, not a lot of people probably know this unless you've been on the channel for uh, quite some time, but the first iPhone game I ever recorded was uh, Pocket RPG. That was the first game that I ever recorded on the channel. The first iPhone game, I should say. All right, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this quick look into Atomic Superlander. If you haven't scoped it out on the App Store just yet, it is $2.99 on there and well worth the money. Hope you all enjoy it and have a great day. Bye-bye.